last you have arrived is Malachor as you remember. You no doubt have many questions. I would be a poor teacher if I did not give you the answers you seek here now. I never destroyed Atris. She had destroyed herself. I merely stripped away the illusion and brought her truth. Her teachings could not be allowed to continue, and like Malachor, she was part of your past, unresolved. She needed to be something you could confront and defeat one last time. It was part of your training, part of what was needed to make you complete. And there must always be a Darth Traer. The galaxy needs its betrayers, especially in the times to come. She loved you, you know, as one loves a champion. You were all that she could not be. Yes, it is all that is left unsaid upon which tragedies are built. More echoes traveling through the Force. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me. Because I hate the Force. I hate that it seems to have a will, that it would control us to achieve some measure of balance when countless lives are lost. But in you, I see the potential to see the Force die, to turn away from its will, and that is what pleases me. You are beautiful to me, Exile. A dead spot in the Force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. I use it as I would use a poison, and in the hopes of understanding it, I will learn the way to kill it. But perhaps these are the excuses of an old woman who has grown to rely on a thing she despises. Yes, always. From the moment you awoke, I have used you. I have used you so that you might become strong, stronger than I. I used your death to deceive the Sith, to make them believe they had won, so they would turn on each other. I used you to keep the Lords of the Sith from condemning the galaxy to death with their power unchecked. I used you to lure them to Telos, where they could be at last fought and killed. I used you to reveal Atrus's corruption so that her teaching could be ended before it began. I used you to gather the Jedi so they could be destroyed, and I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me. But in you, you are beautiful. Perhaps you were expecting some surprise for me to reveal a secret that had eluded you, something that would change your perspective of events, shatter you to your core. There is no great revelation, no great secret. There is only you. No, there were not. In times past and in times future, there are Jedi who will stop listening to the Force, those that will try to forget it but maintain unconscious ties, and those, as in the past, just as I, who have had the Force stripped from them. But no Jedi ever made the choice you did, to sever ties so completely, so utterly, that it leaves a wound in the Force. It was a mistake to try to make you feel it again, I see that now. There is no truth in the Force. But there is truth in you, Exile. And that is why I chose you. The Apprentice must kill the Master. If you do not, I will kill you. If I do not, then all you have achieved will be as nothing, as empty and as violent as Malachor itself.
If you do not kill me, I shall end you. Strike me down. End this. Show me mercy. I will see you break before you do. Killing me here, you have rewarded me more than you can possibly know. It is your choice. I had hoped you would follow Revan's path, but you and Revan are different and your path is your own. You may take one of the ships that orbit Malachor and depart this place, or you may remain here on Malachor and wait for the others, those... Touched by the Force, who will come in time. Or you may return to your exile, where your presence will no longer affect the actions of others. There is no dishonor in any of these choices. I only ask that you make the choice without regret. Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know, the true Jedi upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. But you know this. They will die a death that will last millennia, until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and as she looked upon you, she shall look upon the surface of that world and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. After that, I do not know. I do know that you must leave her behind. Where you are destined, you must not take anyone you love. It was Revan's choice as well.
she will seek to forget you and this place and instead give herself fully to battle. She will be the last of the handmaidens no longer. Where once she dreamed of the Jedi, she will put such things behind her. The Jedi will always be ones that she will judge and if she can, punish for being human. Atten shall keep his murderer's heart. Many deaths shall he cause in the dark corners of the galaxy. Always hunting, always finding prey. He shall grow hungry in a galaxy where there are few Jedi, and it will eventually consume him. But I shall say no more. I would have killed the galaxy to preserve you. I would have let the galaxy die. You are more rare than you know, and what you have taught yourself must not be allowed to die. You are not Sith, not truly, and it is for that that I love you. Their paths are unknown to me. Even the small one who waits for you outside this place, I sense it has one last journey for you. You must go where Revan did, into the unknown regions, where the Sith, the true Sith, wait in the dark for the great war that comes. It is because he remembered what lay buried here, this place, its teachings. It paved the way to Korriban, you know, the remnants here. And because Malachor, like Korriban, is on the fringes of the ancient Sith Empire, where the Sith wait for us in the dark. Have we? You thought that the corrupted remnants of the Republic, the machines spawned by technology that Revan led into battle, were the Sith? You are wrong. The Sith is a belief. And its empire, the true Sith Empire, rules elsewhere. And Revan knew that the true war is not against the Republic. It waits for us beyond the Outer Rim, and he has gone to fight it in his own way. And he left the Ebon Hawk and all its machines behind, for he knew he would not need them. And like you, he knew he must leave all loves behind as well, no matter how deeply one cares for them. because such attachments are not the way of the Jedi, and they would only bring doom to them both in the dark places where he now walks. It would have helped had he made her understand, but she was always strong-willed, that one, and did not understand war as Revan did. But he will need warriors, Sith and Jedi, any who can be sent after him into the depths of space, for any who know the way. Perhaps you shall go there with him and do battle at the end of all things. Instead, I remained here and now show others the way. The Republic will fall as it always has, a fall that will take millennia. Telos shall recover and Zerka shall make it a place for machines and sciences. It will run smooth and cold like a machine. But it shall not forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to it. It shall learn to defend itself against war, and it shall never again be caught defenseless. Dantooine shall survive. The community you saved shall be the foundation upon which Dantooine shall be habitable again. They shall drive back the raiders, the Mandalorians, and all that strike at the Outer Rim. The Republic shall again establish their presence there and shield it with its forces, and Dantooine shall heal, be safe, and its skies free. The ruins of the Academy shall remain. Nar Shaddaa shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before, where once the lost and disposed were trapped there. Now they will struggle and grow, from despair shall come hope. Queen Talia shall have a long reign. Much good will come of it. She will, as she has, rule wisely and well. Onderon shall remain in the Republic, 
and the world shall prosper, though its people shall, over time, lose their customs in the ocean of the Republic and become the people of Onderon no longer. Korriban shall be as it always was, a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia. It, like Malachor, brushes the edges of the Empire that waits in the dark. And like Malachor, the Sith have forgotten it. For a time, they will remember. Revan knew this. You're leaving? I, I would come with you, if you will allow it. Others? What do you mean? I shall do as you ask. I shall train others who will follow. When will you return? Need any company? I mean, I'm not doing anything. Besides, if I'm not around to bail you out of trouble, who knows what could happen? All right then, where are we going again? I mean, because last time we were heading towards this mining colony on the edge of space and there was this Sith Lord and... 